Each year, the United States Fish and Wildlife Service, the Canadian Wildlife Service, and other regional agencies conduct a waterfowl population status. Except for 2020 and 2021, when the global pandemic and travel restrictions were in effect. The survey has been conducted every year since 1955. The survey is conducted by ground, airplane, and helicopter over 2 million square mile area that covers the principal breeding areas of North America and includes parts of Alaska, Canada, and the North Central United States. The data that is collected help wildlife managers establish annual hunting regulations. A lot has happened between the 2019 survey and the survey of 2022. A multi-year drought across much of the western United States and a severe and widespread drought across the prairie pothole region of North Dakota, South Dakota, and Manitoba was the worst in at least 20 years. Avian influenza may have also played a role in the decline of some waterfowl. The 2022 survey found a total of 34.2 million ducks, a drop of 12% from the 2019 survey. We have added a link to the entire 76 page 2022 waterfowl population status report in the description below. A total of 585,000 cavusbacks were counted in 2022 a decline of 10% from 2019. Cavusbacks are the largest diving duck in North America. They can easily be recognized at a distance by their distinctly sloping forehead and long wedge-shaped bill. Cavusbacks frequently dive underwater to feed on plant tubers, seeds, and clams. They breed on lakes, deep water marshes, bays, and ponds in the prairie pothole region, and winter on deep freshwater lakes and coastal waters across the United States and northern Mexico. Nine hundred and ninety one thousand redheads were counted during the two thousand and twenty two survey. Their population rose by an incredible 35% from the 2019 estimate of 730,000 birds. Although similar in appearance to the canvasback, the slightly smaller redhead has a rounder head. Redheads breed mainly in the seasonal ponds and other wetlands of the Midwest Prairie Pothole region. In winter, large flocks numbering in the thousands can be found along the coastal Gulf of Mexico, feeding on seagrass. The most alarming result concerned the northern pintail numbers, which fell to the lowest level since the survey began. Pintails were down 21% compared to the 2019 survey and 54% below the long-term average. Pintails are elegant, long-necked ducks with a slender profile. They breed across Alaska, Canada, and the North Central United States, and are one of the first ducks to migrate south. Their wintering grounds are in the southern half of the United States, Mexico, and Central America. A total of 2,127,000 American widgeon were counted in 2022. Their population declined by 25% since 2019 
and were 19% below their long-term average. The distinct male has a brownish-gray head with a wide green stripe behind the eye and a gleaming white cap and forehead, earning him the nickname Bald Plate. With a population of 2,170,000 birds, green-winged teal declined by 32% since 2019. However, the population numbers remain unchanged since the survey was first established. Measuring only 14 and a half inches long, 37 centimeters, the green-winged teal is North America's smallest dabbling duck. These fast-flying ducks are named for their small green wing patch, known as a speculum. Two million six hundred fifty-five thousand gadwall were counted in 2022. Their population declined by 18 percent during the past three years, but increased 30 percent since the start of the survey. The male is intricately patterned with gray, brown, and black. The browner female has a thin bill with orange on the sides. Gadwell are one of several ducks that can be found across much of North America, Europe, and Asia. The northern shoveler population declined by 17% since 2019, but the good news is they have increased 15% during the long-term average. Although the breeding males have a distinct plumage, non-breeding males and females can readily be identified from a distance by their large shovel-shaped bills. The bills are designed to filter out aquatic invertebrates and seeds as they sweep their heads side to side on the surface of the water. Often referred to as bluebills, greater and lesser scorp were lumped together during the surveys, most probably because they look very similar and are impossible to separate when observed from an aircraft. There was no change in the population from 2019 to 2022, but a 28% decrease has occurred over the past 67 years. Scorp are a mid-sized diving duck that spends the summer in Alaska and Canada. Small numbers of lesser scorp also breed in the northern United States. Greater scorp mainly winter along the coastal areas of North America, while the lesser scorp can often be found wintering in the inland areas of the United States and south through Central America and the Caribbean, even reaching parts of northern South America. With a population of 6,485,000 birds, the blue-winged teal increased by 19% since 2019 and 27% throughout the survey's history. The blue-winged teal breeds on grassy habitats intermixed with shallow wetlands from Alaska, east to Nova Scotia, and south to Texas. It is one of the few North American ducks that will migrate as far south as South America for the winter. This long distance migrant is even seen regularly on the Galapagos Islands, roughly 600 miles offshore mainland South America. With a population of 7,223,000 birds, the mallard is the most abundant duck in North America. Numbers, though, are down by 23% as compared to the 2019 survey and down 9% since 2019. 
during the past 67 years. Mallards occur year-round throughout North America, but most individuals are migratory and breed in the northern United States and Canada and winter in the southern United States and Mexico. Most of the breeding population occurs in the prairie pothole region of the northern Great Plains, an area that has recently suffered from severe and widespread drought. Ducks are members of the waterfowl family, which also includes swans and geese. Although not included in the report, it is estimated that there are currently 7 million Canada geese in North America. It is hard to believe that 100 years ago, this species was on the brink of extinction due to unregulated hunting. Canada geese are the most familiar of North America's geese. They frequent city parks, golf courses, farm fields, and many national wildlife refuges. Many wild Canada geese are migratory, but a good number have also adapted living year-round in urban and suburban areas and where their droppings and overgrazing may cause property damage, including erosion and reduced water quality in ponds. Let us know in the comments what are your thoughts about concerning the abundance of Canada geese? Currently, the most abundant waterfowl in North America today, though, is the snow goose. With the population increasing about 5% a year, snow geese are now estimated at 16 million birds, up 15% since 2019. Snow geese breed during late spring and summer in remote tundra regions above the Arctic Circle. Huge numbers winter in agricultural areas and many national wildlife refuges, such as here at Bosque del Apache in New Mexico and other areas of the United States and Mexico. Witnessing a flock of over 50,000 or more snow geese is a sight that you will not soon forget. By comparison, the slightly smaller but very similar Ross's goose has a population of only 1.5 million birds. Their population remains stable, and small numbers can often be found in flocks of snow geese. If you enjoyed this video, Please click the like button and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to watch our next Advent Nature.